what's going on everybody today we're gonna be looking at food tiktok of all things to spend my day on we're not even looking at like actual chefs we're gonna be looking at soccer moms that be making the most atrocious shit of all time you're gonna suffer with me respectfully of course let's just get into this shit and the last piece of bacon goes right there take a lot of beef and put at the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit of turmeric here. Okay, we got some cheese now. We got mozzarella cheese. Okay, this actually is starting to look so good. So now we're gonna add another layer of beef. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna be happy when this is done. You just wait. So now we're gonna add a second layer of cheese. Another layer of cheese? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do with all this? I'm gonna wrap it around like a present. <laughs> <laughs> really? So now you want to add more turmeric and a tiny bit more cumin. Okay, and then you want to spread out your popcorn evenly. <laughs> Look at this bacon sun. <laughs> bacon in the sun? Oh yeah. <laughs> so now you want to add the peppers. Okay, add some pepper. You're going to pepper the pig? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so now you want to add your onion. Okay. Got to add a little bit of health, right? <laughs> yeah. Now you want to add your mushrooms. You don't have much room to put a lot though. <laughs> Okay, so now you want to layer it on. Okay, you're gonna fold it over? Yeah. Making one huge bacon meat pie? Yeah. This is gonna be amazing, probably. We're gonna have to work out for a whole month to burn this off. Now we're gonna go this way. I like what you're doing here. I really appreciate this. And the last piece. You're like making a bacon shield. There we go. Oh my God. Now before we pop it into the oven, we wanna glaze the top with some barbecue sauce. Ooh. You can also use some ketchup or some hot sauce. Oh man, I can't wait to try this thing. Me neither. There's no way this is bad, right? If you cook this properly? No, it's never bad. Bacon's never bad. <laughs> Bacon's never bad, I know, right? Now you want to pop it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes, but keep an eye out on it. Keep an eye on it? Okay, okay. Okay, can't wait. So it's been about 35 minutes. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Look at how juicy that looks. Oh my god, that looks absolutely incredible. My arteries are hardening just looking at that. My arteries. <laughs> arteries. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure that it's at 165. Perfect. Okay, so now you want to take two spatulas and transfer it over. Okay, got it. Be careful. Nice. Be careful. Nice and gentle. Be careful. Oh like my God, perfect. I'm in love with you right now. <laughs> Talk about pigs in a blanket. The pigs are the blanket here. So we're gonna start to cut into it right now. Okay. Oh my God. That's the juiciest thing ever. Now you're going this way. I wanna spare y'all the aftermath and what that fucking atrocity fucking looks like. I fucking hate it here. I don't like this fucking place. Why in the fuck are you making something like this in the first place? First of all, you're only using what the fuck? I don't even know what the fuck turmeric is. I'm not a freaking chef. I'm not an excellent cook. I just know how to make myself breakfast and a dinner. All right, that's it. Don't come at me. But I damn as hell know that shit is unseasoned as fuck. There's not even salt on it. The dude, oh my God, let me not get on the guy. Holy shit, there, there's not much room on there. Shut the fuck up before I put this down your throat, bro. I swear, you're gonna give me head while I fucking take the top off type shit. Cause just just stop just stop like th this is all jokes by the way okay these are just all jokes but holy fucking shit man there is no way how people like this actually exist like day-to-day -day life these people really do exist that's fucking crazy to me that's actually crazy to me and we're not even done yet there's another one here you go Take some spaghetti noodles and wrap some beef around it. Now we're going to place this into a hot skillet. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. So we got a second one here. Another one. Go. What are you doing here? <laughs> and our last one. One more. There we go. That fit perfectly. I don't know what you're doing, but I like it so far. You're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Am I? Yeah. So we're going to give these a flip. Flip them over. That's perfect. Next one. Flip them all over. I'm just gonna sprinkle some garlic. A little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. That smells amazing. It does. 
Okay, so now we're gonna take some peppers. Dump it all in there like that. You can use any type of vegetables you want. This looks straight out of a restaurant right now. <laughs> we'll chop up some onion. We're gonna toss that in there with everything else. So colorful and pretty. Oh, great. Shoot. So now my favorite part, I have some red wine here. Okay. Some Cabernet Sauvignon. Some Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to say it right. <laughs> <Neither do I. laughs> Just a little bit there. This helps to bring out the flavor. That was the most red wine ever. <laughs> Somebody likes their wine. <laughs> So now while that's simmering, we're going to add our tomato sauce. I like what you're doing here. <laughs> Just for all the Italians out there. This is actually going to be so good. It is. I don't see any Italians getting mad at this, <laughs> right? They get mad at a lot of things we do, but they can't get mad at this so far. <laughs> so we're adding a little bit more just to cover up the top. You want to make sure it goes past the top, right? <laughs> yeah. So now we have some mozzarella cheese. Ooh. Okay, covering the top. Yeah. How's that gonna cook though? I'm gonna broil this. You're putting this in the oven too? I am. <laughs> oh my God. So now we're gonna transfer this to our oven. Okay. okay. It's gonna go in for 350 degrees for 30 minutes. 350 for 30 minutes. Yeah. I can't wait to see what that looks like. So it's been about 30 minutes. Are you ready to take a look? Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, that was so good. That actually looks amazing. Take that out. Oh my God. Mm. What'd you make here? <laughs> a wine pizza. A wine pizza? <laughs> a Hawaiian pizza? We should be able to just take one out. All right. Oh. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That turned out perfectly. Take another one out. Looks like a sea creature. Yeah, like one of those like lobster tails or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Don't make me act up in this bitch. This is, yet again, diabolical. I don't even want to say anything. That's fucking disgusting. First of all, these niggas can't be normal. First of all, the dude always gotta be making some stupid-ass, low comedy s jokes. Like, come on, man. At least try. You're not even trying. You're making- Come on, man. Just come on, fucking loser. I'm not even gonna get on her because you, you already know. First of all, really? Re you're not even gonna do- You're not even gonna boil the fucking pasta? Just gonna throw that bitch right in the fucking pan. Really? Fucking useless ass nigga. And now on top of that, the amount of freaking red wine that she put made me drunk just by looking at it. If you take one bite of that, dude, you're probably gonna be sent up to heaven with your freaking liver in your damn hand. That shit is fucking atrocious. Why are you doing this? Why? Like, you get nothing out of it, but just constant hatred in your comments. Then you proceed to say the Italians are gonna love it. It probably hate you too. They're probably gonna inflict World War Three on us. Because of you, you fucking loser. I swear. Mm. I, I think that's all I can stomach down and all I can really say before this thing, before this video possibly gets taken down, not gonna lie. But no, sorry for taking so long to upload this. I just haven't been in the mood to edit at fucking all. That's gonna be it. Like and subscribe. Thank you.